Get ready to gear up. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Spy Kids gadgets we all wanted. Who makes this? Machete products. For this list, we'll be looking at the coolest gadgets used by our favorite team of pint sized super spies throughout the Spy Kids franchise. Gadget, hold on. Let's go find mom and dad. Good idea. Number 10 Hammer Hands and Stompers. Not wanting to be overshadowed by the iconic gadgets of the original trilogy, all the time in the world introduced a handful of sweet new gadgets to the world of Spy Kids, such as the hammer hands and stompers. These are awesome. You can crush things. While Cecil and Rebecca are given the opportunity to keep some souvenirs from the abandoned Spy Kids division warehouse, Cecil is immediately drawn to these gadgets, and we cannot blame him. Hammer time. According to Carmen, they use electron fields to create superhuman impact force. Basically, they give your hands and feet super strength. As if that weren't cool enough, they also glow in the dark, letting you clobber your enemies in style. Uh -oh. Hey, there he is! Now you've seen my dark side. Number 9. Virtual Reality Glasses in Spy Kids 3D, Junie has to enter and complete a virtual reality game titled Game Over in order to free his sister and save the world. Put on these glasses and you'll enter the world of the game. To enter the game, Junie wears special VR glasses that transport his consciousness inside. And at the end of the movie, when the toy maker's giant robot runs amok in the real world, Junie and his family have to wear the glasses in order to see it. Dad, you need these to see. Glasses, quick. We all wanted these glasses so that we could also play Game Over, and since theaters gave out 3D glasses that looked just like Junie's, we got to feel like we were part of the adventure for just a little while. This won't be easy. Number 8. Machete Buddy Pack Despite the demand certainly being there, scientists still haven't quite figured out how to make a consumer-ready jetpack suitable for mass production. Junie and Carmen's inventor Uncle Machete, however, figured it out. And all we can say is, we'll take one, please. Going up. Uncle Machete's buddy packs made their way into a few Spy Kids movies, and each time, they're totally awesome, reaching outrageous speeds and looking all kinds of epic. Give me back that brain! <laughs> Everybody who grew up on Spy Kids remembers the jetpack chase scene from the first movie, and we'd be willing to bet that Uncle Machete's buddy packs have had starring roles in more than a few people's childhood fantasies. Enjoy the ride! Number 7. Field Ambush Supplies Cecil's hammer hands and stompers are definitely cool, but the cream of the crop in terms of the new gadgets in the most recent Spy Kids has to be Rebecca's field ambush supplies. Built to help a spy create on the spot booby traps, ambushes, mass confusion, and pranks. Essentially a secret agent backpack, the Ambush Supplies Kit contains tons of tools that come in handy for spy work, like the powerful electric whip Rebecca uses to fight and the classic electroshock gumballs from the first Spy Kids. Sorry! It's okay, do it again! While Carmen explains that the Ambush Supplies Kit is supposed to be for creating booby traps on the move, she also mentions that it can be used for pranks, which definitely gives us some ideas that we'd like to try out. Number 6. Wall Climbing Device the Island of Lost Dreams wastes no time in introducing new gadgets to the Spy Kids universe that made all of us kids green with envy. Right out of the gate, Junie and Carmen are given these wrist apparatuses that aid them in scaling an amusement park ride in order to save the president's daughter. We get to keep them afterwards? N no. Yes, of course. Let's rock. Watching Junie and Carmen climb up the ride like Spider-Man had us desperate to try out the gadget for ourselves. Though their mission is cut in on by Gary and Gertie with what they claim to be a superior means of climbing the ride, we still think that Junie and Carmen's climbing gadgets are way cooler. Leave this gear in my butt. Number five, spy glasses. Focus your eyes closer on the glasses themselves. Whoa, maps and readouts. 
There's quite a bit of modern technology that Spy Kids showcased back in the early 2000s before it was popularized in the mainstream. Video calls, watches that would connect to the internet, and even the Google Glass. Introduced in the first Spy Kids and popping up in other entries as well, spy glasses are an iconic staple of the series. These gadgets let the wearer visualize maps, store information, and access a large OSS database. Where's my mom and dad? Of course, they're also oozing 2000s style. In Spy Kids 2, Junie uses a presumably updated model of the spy glasses as binoculars, and the way that the glasses zoom in on a target always had us going back to see it again. Gary and Gertie. What are they doing here? Number 4. Machete Elastic Wonder Most of the gadgets on this list sadly don't exist in real life, so when playing Spy Kids, we had to make do with our imaginations. The Machete Elastic Wonder, however, can be found in pretty much any household's kitchen, cupboards, or drawers. 999 uses. And the important thing is, you have to figure out what those uses are with this. Yeah, it may just be a rubber band, but like Machete says, it's also the world's greatest gadget. In introducing the Elastic Wonder and having it be the gadget that saves the day in the Island of Lost Dreams, Spy Kids gave us all a tangible link to the world that we all wish we were a part of. They won't stay up! Machete Elastic Wonder! With 999 uses that they have to figure out on their own, the Elastic Wonder inspired hours of fun. I'm gonna make a fortune with these. Number three, Ralph. Every kid wants a weird pet that's unique to them. Better still if that pet is also the product of advanced, secret robotic engineering. Junie's spy bug Ralph definitely appeared on some kids' wish lists after the release of Spy Kids 2. And fair enough. Thanks, Ralph. Junie can communicate with Ralph remotely and have it spy on people without them knowing, which gives Junie an incredible tactical edge in his spy work. Get to the briefing room. We need you to spy on Gary and Gertie. But let's be honest, we mostly like Ralph because of the way it jumps and swings through its environment and its incredibly toyetic design. Ralph is simply a way better pet than your average goldfish. Good boy, Ralph. Number two, spy watch. Even in the age of computers that can fit into our pockets, the novelty of spy watches still captures our imaginations. The spy watch appears in multiple Spy Kids movies, and it's easy to see why. Had baby will do everything but tell you what time it is. The idea of having an incredibly powerful computerized tool strapped to your wrist is never not awesome. And with each Spy Kids movie, we got to see more and more of what these gadgets could do. Everything you're wearing is right here on my wrist. It's super accurate and oh so light. It even tells time. How did you get that? Built-in satellite dishes, internet connectivity, cell phones, and so much more, these gadgets were iPhones before iPhones existed. And we'd still prefer the spy watch any day. How long have we been falling? I don't know, my watch doesn't tell time. Before we unveil our most epic number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Acid Crayon, ordinary everyday coloring tool turned steel melting spy necessity. I've been skipping school, going places, taking ferry rides in the city. Flying Pigtails, it's unclear what device Gertie has in her hair that lets her fly the way she does, but we want it. What you doing? The world's smallest camera. It's the size of a pinprick. You can't see it, but it sees you. What are you working on? World's smallest camera. I don't see it. Ah, but it sees you. Carmen's glove. Even though it's never actually used for anything, it just looks so cool. You have to go through me first. Game Boy. Machete electroshock gumballs. What could be better than candy that's also a weapon? <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Rehydrator, also known as Microwave the microwave-like appliance from the first Spy Kids is probably the least realistic gadget on this list, so of course it's the one we're most desperate for. Stored in the Cortez safe house, this rehydrator has the unique ability to turn popcorn-style bags or color-coded packets into entire meals. 
True to the wish fulfillment of the Spy Kids series, it appears that most of the meals you can make are junk food. Check it out. Even as adults, when we see Carmen pull a McDonald's meal out of the machine, we're hopelessly wishing that we could install one in our kitchens. If only. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.